He's 60 years old and he's never had a bank account. Kedu Prasad Lodi sells vegetables to make a living from this shop just outside his home. It's hard for him to save much, but whatever he does is stashed away in his home. The nearest government-run bank is about an hour's walk away. There are a couple of private lenders slightly closer, but I can't trust them with my money. If there was a government bank closer to home, I would deposit my savings there. But right now, it's not worth my time. This is a suburb of India's commercial capital, Mumbai. And yet, many people here don't have bank accounts simply because there isn't a bank branch that's close enough. In fact, around a third of India's population doesn't have access to bank accounts. Well, now there's a proposal to change that and to bring more people from low-income households like these into the formal financial system. An expert panel set up by the Reserve Bank of India has recommended that special banks should be opened up focused on those earning low wages. And that by 2016, every adult Indian should have a bank account. That's a big target. The country is home to more than 1.2 billion people. In 2010, India launched a massive scheme called Aadhaar to give every person a unique identification number. A process that's still underway and likely to be completed next year. The Central Bank's panel believes that if bank accounts are linked to this unique ID, then 2016 may be an achievable goal. Really, the bank account target is, uh, is really an electronic target. If you see the way we have articulated it, that the big task of opening a bank, bank account is verifying the customer, verifying all the documents, making sure this is all already being done by Aadhaar. Uh, the thought was, why make a bank repeat it? A reasonable proportion of these automatic accounts may remain dormant for some years. Right? But the, the beauty of our guidance is that the bank has not spent any money yet. But to really get people to use these accounts, thousands of new bank branches will also need to be opened up. And if customers are only depositing very small amounts, there are questions about whether these branches will be financially viable. Opening account uh, is not financial inclusion, but you have to operate you know, with deposits, savings, and also insurance, remittances, those kind of things. There are problems of, uh, you know, the infrastructure, physical and digital connectivity uh, is not there in many rural areas. Using technology could be one solution. Already, some banks have staff who go door-to-door -door with a small machine that allows customers to make transactions. And the Central Bank Committee says electronic payment systems should also be set up so that every single resident would be within a 15-minute walking distance of at least one. They are ambitious goals, but achieving them, many believe, is key for equitable growth in the country.